We begin with new developments on Edward Snowden, the former U.S. intelligence contractor who leaked that sensitive surveillance information. The Washington Post is reporting that criminal charges have been filed against him. CNN is working its own sources to confirm it. The Post reports three charges were filed in a sealed criminal complaint, theft, espionage and conversion of government property. So far, Snowden is not being charged with illegal exposure of classified information. For more now on these reported charges filed against Edward Snowden and what may come next, we're joined by senior international correspondent Nick Robertson joining us live from Hong Kong. So Nick, what are the options? What does this mean now? Well, what the uh, Washington Post is reporting is that uh, the, the United States has asked Hong Kong authorities to issue a provisional arrest warrant, which is an indication there that uh, the charges are not, uh, uh, that, that have been put forward so far, are not full and complete. A provisional arrest warrant means that this is, this is sort of a place-holding arrest warrant. And that is the next step. What should happen now is that the chief executive in Hong Kong will make a decision whether or not to push um, ahead with this uh, extradition request and these charges um, that would then go to the courts and the courts would then issue this provisional arrest warrant. The, what the options are that are open to um, Edward Snowden at that point are to claim asylum or non-refoulement, non-return as it's known here. And there are sort of three basic categories he can do that under. One is that uh, if he went back to the United States, he would be tortured. Number two would be that if he went back to uh, the United States, he would be, he would face cruel and inhumane treatment. And the third, which seems to be the most likely, is that if he went back to the United States, he would face persecution, political persecution. Talking to a lawyer here in recent days, he said that in some of the uh, U.S. government official response to some of the uh, information that Edward Snowden has helped release here um, would be a way that Hong Kong authorities could assess whether or not there was a political persecution motive involved here. Um, the, but the very next step is going to be this, uh, uh, very likely, this arrest warrant for Edward Snowden here. And Edward Snowden in the past, uh, in the recent days, has said that he uh, has faith in the people and the justice system of Hong Kong. He's given this indication um, that he would, uh, so far, surrender himself. Um, it's not clear that he has done that so far or is about to do it right now. Indeed, um, there have been plans in place as recently as... As, as just a few hours ago to whisk him out of the country um, on a private jet to Iceland if the Icelandic government could give him, uh, could give him asylum and, and, uh, and nationality. Uh, but, but at the moment, that is all hanging absolutely in the air, Alita. And Nick, just as you were speaking, CNN has been able to confirm through its own sources uh, uh, that indeed Edward Snowden has been charged. There's a, a criminal complaint against him with those three charges. I wanted to ask you about the possibility of uh, Snowden seeking asylum either in Hong Kong or in Iceland. Tell us the status of those asylum uh, treaties with the United States and, and what are the exceptions that they allow? Well, uh, the treaties as far as Hong Kong goes uh, are, are fairly recent over the past uh, 18 years or so since the late 1990s. Um, they've been in pl the, the treaties have been in place and generally in the past um, they've led to the fairly speedy extradition of people that Hong Kong authorities have cooperated with the United States uh, in terms of in terms of returning people to the United States at the request of the United States um, the indications here are that if uh, there was a sort of a a, a feeling within uh, perhaps mainland China and Hong Kong um, that, it was, that it is not in uh, Edward Snowden's immediate interests or perhaps there's more to learn here that then perhaps the Hong Kong authorities could drag their feet but there's absolutely no indication of that so far but the three again to go to, to recap the three principal ways that he could claim asylum here would be by saying that if he went back to the United States he would be tortured by saying that if he went back to the United States, he could face cruel and inhumane treatment, or if he went back to the United States, the motivations here um, of the United States to get him back to face these charges would be based on political persecution. And, and generally here, I think lawyers think that it's that third, the persecution angle that, that Snowden may use to try to claim asylum here in Hong Kong, non-refoulement, non non-return non as it's known. 
But we, we've heard speaking in the last few minutes, uh, Glenn Greenwald from the Guardian newspaper, who's been in close contact in the past few weeks to help break the story, close contact with Edward Snowden, and he's indicated very clearly um, that these charges are a, a case of persecution. So it does seem, um, if he is reflecting Edward Snowden's thinking as well, that this could be the basis for uh, for trying to gain asylum in Hong Kong. But it really is the, these, these charges that we're now learning that the United States is bringing against Edward Snowden that trigger all these other steps. Edward Snowden may have been preparing for this moment. He may have a lawyer. Um, we may see these developments coming thick and fast in the next few hours. But the, the next development I think we can expect is from the Hong Kong authorities to act with this arrest warrant. And what, what that when it's served, what that's going to mean is that whatever um, Edward Snowden's intentions are and how he may try to claim asylum, if indeed that's what he does do, he would be doing that from inside a Hong Kong jail. And people here tell us um, that is not a very pleasant experience, Rolita.